So I am in my sewing room today because I came in here to pick out a couple of outfits that I have made that I want to take with me on a trip that I'm going on. And it's just a little short couple days in um, Palm Springs, California, but I'm really excited because the weather there is supposed to be really, really hot and I love hot weather. So I just woke up not too long ago. I still have my PJs on, but I am going to pack, get ready for my trip, and I hope you decide to come along. Okay, so I am not sure exactly what's going on, but we are at a complete stop and we have been sitting here for a while and we have no idea how much longer we're going to be sitting here. It is 3.39 in the afternoon, so I will check back in when we get moving just to let you know maybe what was going on and exactly how long we were sitting here. All right, fun times. Okay, we're still sitting here, but look, you guys, people are turning around backwards on the highway to go the opposite direction. I guess they're going to get off, but oh my goodness, look at this. I've never seen anything like this before. Okay, it is 419. We took an alternate route. We got off, got back on, so now we are back on track. It it's wasn't too bad. The traffic on the other side is still pretty heavy. But I did want to just say that we never found out what the problem was. So I hope and pray that no one is injured. <sighs> we made it. It is dark, but we finally made it. We did stop and we got something to eat. Um, and we made a couple other stops, but we are finally here. We're at our hotel. We're going to check into our room. I am really, really tired, but I am still going to show you what I am wearing today. Okay, so I'm in the elevator. I'm going back to my room. I went to check out the, um, what is it called? The gift shop just to kind of see what they have. It's not really a gift shop, but just like a little shop with snacks and things. So I wanted to see what they had. But anyway, I want to tell you a little bit about my dress. So this is actually a sewing make. Ooh, that was loud. This is a sewing make that I made a long, long, long time ago, um, a couple years ago. So the pattern is not new at all. And um, it's a jersey knit and it's really nice and comfortable. And let's see, the dress is really, really simple. It just has these gathers in the front. And then I left the hem raw and that's pretty much it. It doesn't have a whole lot to it, but I really like the dress because it's super comfortable, especially for a really, really hot day like it was here today in Palm Springs. All right, so I am about to go ahead, call it a night, and I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning. So I decided to lay out my outfit for the day. So I have some jeans and I actually am going to wear this vest that I made. So this is a sewing make. It's a Vogue pattern. It's an older Vogue pattern. I believe it said 1999 on it. What I really love is the back. So it has these little D rings on the back and then it straps. There's a zipper on the side and then you can tie the strings. It is, oops, I was I even in the video? I hope I got everything. But if not, I will show this um, to you once I get dressed and you will see how this looks on and um, yeah that is it for for now okay so this is the vest that I made 
and I really like it. This is a faux suede, so it's super soft. The only downside is it's a little bit hot, especially for something like this, but I think it's a great transition piece because I can put a blazer over it. But when you turn around in the back, that's where all the action is. Right, and like I said, there's a zipper on the side. I did mess up on the zipper. The zipper was supposed to be upside down instead of the traditional way where you have the, the zipper at the top and you pull it down. That's the way I put it in here, but it was supposed to be the other way around where you have the zipper opening from the bottom up. So I did that wrong, but I made it work. Um, but yes, this is my top. This is my outfit for the day. Just some jeans, my little vest, and the back. Yes! And that is it. I'm not really ready yet. I'm going to go do my hair and get ready for my day. All right, see you guys soon. So we are out shopping at Dick's Sporting Goods for shoes and I had to change my shoes speaking of shoes do you all do that like when you know you're gonna be doing a lot of walking you just change your shoes yeah that's what I had to do some people are walking by but I wanted to show you what shoes I put on so I changed to put on my chucks because I knew I was gonna be doing a whole lot of walking <laughs> So I am back in my room and today was filled with shopping and just ha being out and about and just having a really good time. Actually, I am about to go out to dinner. I'm going to this place called Firehouse Grill. I've never been there before, so that should be interesting. I probably, well, I'm pretty sure I won't come back on video tonight because I bet it'll be kind of late when we get back. But I have one more day here so I have one more sewing make to share with you one more outfit of the day and what else um, just having a really good time I found out where the pool is here I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time to make it to the pool but if I do that will be nice and what else oh I did want to mention one more thing about this fabric which is the faux uh, suede I did get a chance to shop at Joann's before I came on this trip and I noticed that they had a bunch of this faux suede in a lot of different colors they were really really pretty too so I just wanted to share that just in case you are interested I got mine from Hobby Lobby this this uh, fabric but I noticed that they had different colors at Joann's so that's nice um, what else I think that's it for today I will check in tomorrow and um, yeah, I will see you guys then or you will see me then. All right. Okay, so it is a new day. Okay, so this is the new look top that I made recently and it ties in the front as you can see and there's a little hole where you wrap the strap around and you, th you thread it through the hole and then it crisscrosses in the back. Okay, so I feel like this is another pleat piece that you can transition into the fall easily because you can put something on top of it. Um, now I am, oh, let me show you. I'm just wearing this with some shorts that are cut off and I rolled up the bottom of the shorts. Now I have to admit that I am not crazy about this top and I think it's because it kind of comes up a little high on my neck. So I actually wear it reverse. I put the strap ties in the back and the crisscross in the front so i'm going to go ahead and switch it around and show you how i like to wear the top okay so i have switched the top around and i just think it looks so much better this way even my husband kind of thought that maybe this was the right way but according to the way that it looks on the pattern they have the model wearing the back the way i had it the first time was the front but anyway, I like it better this way, but you can wear, I guess, you know, either way that you like it if you decide to make it. And this is how it looks in the back with the little 
tie hanging and of course you can tie that more and make it into a bow so that is the end of my little trip here i had such a great time and before i go i want to leave you with a love share so this love share i'm going to actually demonstrate for you and this is the love share is that if you're in the bathroom and the mirror gets all steamed up one way that you can get rid of the steam on the mirror is to take a blow dryer like a hand dryer that's usually in the bathroom when you are um, at a hotel you can use that hand dryer spray not spray but put the air onto the mirror and the steam will go away and it will be nice and clean with no streaks and you can use the mirror just like you want to use the mirror so yes i'm going to demonstrate that for you and you will see just exactly how it works <laughs> so it took me a little while as you can see to get the hair dryer to actually work i stood there for a minute thinking okay this is not working but i just kept on kept doing it and i noticed that it really was working so i was like oh okay this does work so i just want to mention if you do decide to do this just you know be a little bit patient because it does seem like it's not working but it really will work all right so thank you so much for watching and you guys will see me in the next video